down. <laughs> All the talk around the Metroplex is the Fort Worth Stock Show and Rodeo. Great food, animals, and exhibits. But all eyes this week were on the Weatherford ISD FFA students, including Brooke Chilcutt, who was actually earning Rue Blue, as in Blue Ribbons. I walked away with Reserve Champion Hampshire U, Grand Champion Hampshire Ram, and actually out of all the Rams here at the sock show, I had the best Ram, so I was able to win Supreme Champion overall Ram, and that's through Dorset, Hampshire, Suffolk, uh, all the fine wool breeds, through all of them I had the best ram. While Brooke continues to earn awards, she isn't alone. Her younger brother Dylan and fellow 8th grader Kennedy Box also understand the commitment it takes to earn these honors. Hours, um, hours of practice, hours of preparation. You have to work up and build your animals um, from a good base up to like a winning um, level. This is actually my second year. I haven't been doing it a long time, but I'm starting to catch up on things. I'm hoping to get a good place with my lamb because she's trained and she knows what to do in the show ring. And I'm a pretty good showman, so I should get a good place. Kennedy should be a great showman. Like all Weatherford ISD students, she's learning from the best. It really means a lot to me uh, to help other individuals. Like I've helped Kennedy, taught her how to show, helped her with her livestock. My younger brother, I've also helped uh, other individuals that I've met along the way at stock shows that their parents pulled me aside and said, we've been watching you all day. You're such a good showman. Can you please help my son? And I love doing it, just getting all the knowledge that I've gotten through my four years and to help people and see them grow into showmen. It's good because I had no idea what I was doing and then Brooke showed me the ropes and I really did good. I am putting the halter on her so we can go wash her to get ready for the show. Okay, enough talking. There's only an hour till the next competition and there is a lot to do. In some events, Brooke is showing multiple sheep which naturally means she needs some help. And who better to do that than her dad, David Chilcutt. The more that you got, the more important it is. Yeah, it, you know, takes everybody, really. And at last, it's showtime. After years of preparation and a day of fine tuning, it all comes down to judges' decisions. And on this day, the judges liked what they saw from the Weatherford FFA students. Along with Brooks' numerous awards, Dylan claims third and fourth in Suffolk U, while Kennedy takes second in the age breeding lamb. It's awesome. Um, Oakley is a really Dylan, big lamb, so it's kind of surprising that she got high of a place like okay. that. It's really fun to like work hard and then get a good place. A successful day and the stock show is still young with several competitions remaining. And then it's off to the next show. A lot of this started back in June when we purchased animals and you have to own them by a certain date. So, it, you know, it's led up to this. Uh, and uh, we're just going to get ready for the next one. And, and uh, they did a good job showing. Kennedy Box did a good job showing. It's been a good show for them. And, and uh, looking forward for the next one. So if you make it out to the stock show, go by and cheer on our students. They are doing more than showcasing their livestock. With their dedication, hard work, and willingness to help others, they are showcasing everything that is great about Weatherford ISD. Both are deserving of a blue ribbon. For more on this story and other information, please visit us at weatherfordisd.com. And don't forget to like us on Facebook, where you receive up-to-date information on Weatherford ISD.